All right, what's going on, guys? It's time for our weekly recap, although I think I'm going to upload this on Tuesday, so at this point, I'm not sure I can even call it that, but I haven't been home for two days, so we're a little bit delayed here. That's also why it's been like three days since I've uploaded a video, but let's go ahead and get into it. Our first story of the day is straight from the title, so... When I first saw this article, I actually did not understand what it was talking about. Like, it just didn't register to me at first what they meant. But after I looked at it a little bit closer, I was like, oh shit, wait, is that what they were talking about? Like, this cannot be serious. So here's the title, Massachusetts High School Eliminating the Term Freshman to Be More Gender Inclusive. Okay, so I guess apparently some people were offended over the word freshman because it has the word man in it. You know what I'm saying? Fresh man. And I guess some people were just not very happy about that. Now, first of all, shut the fuck up. Like, for real, stop it. And second of all, actually, you know what? There is no second of all here. Just shut the fuck up, dude. Like, stop it right now. Just stop. I've had enough of this shit, bro. This was honestly so stupid that I didn't even realize what was offensive about it until I really sat here and thought about it. Like, it didn't even come to me at first. I was like, wait a second, what's going on here? So, the problem here is not the word freshman. There's nothing wrong with that word. The the problem here is whoever the fuck saw that word and got offended over it, you are the problem. East Hampton High School wants to change the term to first year students to be more gender inclusive. The change was recommended by a gender and sexuality alliance group at the school. The group went through the school's handbook and came up with suggestions on how the language could be more gender neutral. Can you imagine being part of the gender and sexuality alliance club at school? Like, you may as well just wear a fucking shirt that says, bully me. Like, come on, man. Why is this even a thing? Like, I think I'd rather be in the fucking chess club than be in the gender club. Come on, man. Th this does not need to be a real thing. But let's just say for argument's sake, right? Let's just pretend for a second that this this whole situation isn't completely stupid. Am I the only one who's a little bit confused by this? Because how come these people want to take away the word freshman, but these same people use the word woman? These same fucking females that are mad that freshman has the word man in it also identify themselves as women. So how come there's no problem with the word woman that also has man in it, right? Or even better, how about this one? How about human, right? Hugh, man, wo, man. Once again, we got the word man in there. So I'm just confused. Like, do these people not consider themselves humans or something? Because it says man, so we can't use that word. So apparently, these people aren't fucking human. They're genderless aliens or whatever the fuck, right? Is that what they're classified as? Because apparently... We can't use anything that has the word man in it. We gotta just get rid of all of those words. So even using their own logic here, it just doesn't make any fucking sense, man. It just doesn't add up. But that's usually the case with these situations. They don't really use any logic when they come up with this shit. But anyways, let's move on. There's not much else I need to say here. In other news, we have another porn star death. I don't know what's going on here, but this is now the third porn star death in the last two months. First, we had Shyla Styles, then August Ames recently, and now Eurizen Beltran. And at this point, it's actually getting kind of weird, right? Like, what are the chances that three porn stars would die within two months back to back to back like that? I don't know. It's, it's getting kind of weird. But it turns out that she overdosed on some pills on accident, I should add in. This was not 
a suicide like the August Ames situation, but prescription drugs, man, that shit is no joke. That'll fuck you up. I don't know the full story. I read a couple articles. Nobody is really saying exactly what happened, so I don't know if these were pills that she was supposed to be taking and she accidentally just took too many or whatever, or if she was just taking some shit to get fucked up. I don't know what the situation was, but either way, prescription drugs are not something to fuck around with, man. That, that shit'll get you, but uh, regardless, RIP to your reason, Beltran. I hope I'm saying that correctly. That's how it looks like on paper to me, but anyways, I, I was a little bit familiar with her work, you could say. You know, I, I wasn't a, an expert or anything. You know, I, I haven't seen all of her films, but I was familiar, I've seen some videos here and there, and I'd say she does pretty good work. But yeah, another porn star death, man. It's getting kind of weird. That's all I'm going to say about it. I don't know what's going on here, but three and two months is definitely a weird situation. So anyways, let's finish it up with one final story for the day. This one's just kind of funny. I don't have too much to say about it. I just want to show you guys this little video clip. So you guys know sometimes in my videos or on Twitter or even on my stream, really, because we have a stun emo on the stream if you subscribe but sometimes i'll say that someone has been stunned or they need to be running tack mask or whatever and obviously i'm just making a call of duty joke about real life but i want to show you guys this clip right here because this right here is the most perfect example i have ever seen of someone actually getting stunned in real life whenever i say that a guy needs to be running tack mask this right here is what i'm talking about i had to do it i'm an elected official three terms i had to swear on a bible you have to swear on a bible to be an elected official in the, in the united states of america he alleges that a muslim cannot do that ethically swearing on the Bible. You don't actually have to swear on a Christian Bible. You can swear on anything, really. I don't know if you knew that. You can swear on a Jewish Bible. Oh, no, you can swear I swore on, a, on you the can, Bible. I've done it three times. I'm sure Jay. you have. I'm sure you've picked a Bible, but the law is not that you have to swear on a Christian Bible. That is not the law. You, you don't know that? All right, Ted Crockett. With I the don't know. I, I know that uh, Donald Trump did it when he when we made him president because he's Christian and he picked it. That's what he wanted to. That's what he wanted to swear in on. Ted Crockett with the Moore campaign. Good luck tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, first of all, I don't give a fuck about politics whatsoever. That's not what I'm focusing on the clip. So let's not turn it into a political debate. They could have been talking about anything. They could have been talking about the fucking best dick sucking technique. I don't care. I am just focused on this guy's reaction. I don't even know who this fucking guy is. I'm just focused on his reaction because do you guys understand what I mean now when I say this was the best example I have ever seen of a guy getting stunned? My dude was literally speechless for like 10 seconds, man. He was concussed, bro. He was out. Actually, you know what? Let me time this shit. I want to see how long he was stunned for. Oh, no. I swear I swore on, a, on the can, Bible. I've done can, it three times. I'm sure Jay. you have. I'm sure you've picked a Bible, but the law is not that you have to swear on a Christian Bible. That is not the law. You, you don't know that? All right, Ted Crockett. With seven seconds, bro. Seven whole seconds. I guess it kind of doesn't seem like that much when you say it, but when you watch the clip, it may as well have been like a whole fucking minute because that's what it feels like. It feels like forever. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to include this little clip at the end because this really was a perfect example of someone getting stunned, man. I just had to include it in the video, man. It was too perfect. But anyways, that's going to be it for the video. As always, if you would like to link me any stories for this or for any other videos in general, just tweet 
tweet them to me and if I like it I'll end up using it in a video but thank you guys so much for watching special thank you as always to all of my patreon supporters be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out